Ah, well, Dan, I, I'm here now. LA drivers. I swear to God, only in LA, you'll see some of the best cars and some of the biggest pieces of crap. You know, doing acting coaching now is what I really get, get a you know big kick of. You know, teaching, you know, the next generation. Can't drive, look at you, look at you, you're supposed to go! Drive! Oh my God. Jesus Christ, I can't deal with people. You know, I believe it's all about a man's legacy, you know. You, you know, that's why we do what we do. We hopefully try to pass it on to the next generation. You know, inspire the, the next ones. <laughs> Don't say it! I didn't mess today! I'm so high! I feel awful! It's great! Yeah, Shia was definitely a kind of a brother to me. People, listen. There's no reason to be scared of this boy or his alien ways, all right? Because I think with love and understanding, Beans and his family, his whole family, can become upstanding citizens of our community. Uh, personally, yeah, that was probably one of my favorite episodes of the show. You know, doing the close encounters of Beans guy was definitely one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I love the guy with all my heart. He's got one of the biggest hearts in the world. I remember when I first booked the show, you know, we didn't have that much money because we were spending a lot of it going back and forth and stuff like that hotel rooms and such. So, Shia actually bought me uh, the original Xbox when I was a little kid, you know, and that just shows how big of a heart he has. Yeah, that's some, a friend started showing me those a, a while ago, and you know, I, th I thought it was cool when I was Obama, thought it was cool, you know, and, and then the weird ones came with me as Paula Dean with me as Trump, with me as, oh, all these, all these weird ones, man. And it's, I don't know, I just feel like people got way too much time on their hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it, you just got way too much time, time on your hands, bro. Get a hobby, seriously. And I know it's not cool to, you know, break the fourth wall anymore since Deadpool overdid it, but hey, break the fourth wall. Not be happening. Just think of all the gazillions of kids who need tutors. You got me. I know. All right, you know what? How about you stay out of my drawers? Yeah, Young Artist Awards. Yeah, yeah. Young Artist Awards was was a um, an award show for young actors, um, and we were we all met up over at AJ's house to go over there. Limo shows up. We all pile in, and I'm not gonna give the limo company uh, because well there was couple of bottles of champagne in there. We were definitely underage. So we went over having fun, you know, doing the child act thing, having a couple of glasses of champagne over there. And the idea comes around for Steven to kiss Christy somehow. And I, I was 12, 13, and Christy's, uh, Christy's gorgeous, of course. So yeah, being a 12 year old with, you know, liquid courage running through his bones, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Christy was kind of my first kiss. Christy, I I'm sorry, you know I love you. Uh, but yeah, Christy was my first kiss. I, I could think of a lot worse, frankly. And then, um, so we get there and the award show's going on, blah, 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 and I can't stand award shows. I just find them boring and, you know, uh, God, oh, so superficial, very Hollywood, you know, head in the clouds bullshit, which I just don't stand for, frankly. Um, so we're there, and um, Shia got nominated for Best Actor or something for the third year in a row. Of course, Frankie Muniz at the time was, you know, his kind of big rival on the show, right? Um, or, or in the time slots. Um, so Frankie wins for the third time in a row. So Shia's like, F this. I'm running up there. I'm running up there. So as soon as they, they announce the name Frankie, Shia runs up on stage, just grabs it, takes a mic, pulls a Kanye, says, hey, I'm taking this one, Frankie won enough, I'm out, peace. And you see just Shia just, boom, bolt off the stage. You see the security like chase them. Eventually, you know, I saw him later in the night, they're like, yeah. He's like, yeah, they caught me. I had to give it back. Frankie Muniz. <laughs> <laughs> it took a little hiatus from acting and uh, would you mind talking a little bit, you know, about the passing of your father and what that meant to you? My dad actually got diagnosed uh, with cancer actually on my 21st birthday. Um, I was gonna, 
we were all, all you know planning on doing the doing some going to some bar dad and i and some friends he had some checkup he had a uh, i forget what they thought it was but it turned out to be something a little bit turned out to be cancer but um but yeah i took some time off of i took some time off of acting for a little bit to take care of my dad since it was just him and i learned a lot about the medical field i'll never ever ever be a doctor ever because that's what matters to me is family that's my number one you know that was, that's you know what was most important to me you know because if it wasn't for dad i wouldn't be here today you know and yeah i love the guy and i miss him Of course, it's hard not to think about where you'll be in five, ten years. Because, yeah, I think it's, you do have to have a, some sort of plan, obviously. But people nowadays are so focused on tomorrow and they don't live in the moment and see the beauty of every, all the, all the little moments today, you know. And I, I feel like if you really put yourself in it 100% in each and every moment, it, it, it translates to the big five-year, ten-year plan. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of teaching acting right now. I mean, I hope I'm still doing the same thing in five years, man, to be real. Um, that's what I want. Um, I, I love teaching the next generation of kids. Um, and yeah, just passing along, passing along what I know. And if it ever snowed here, people would lose their goddamn minds back in my day. You had to learn how to act, dance, and uh, sing. You know, nowadays it's you got to act like an asshole on Twitter and, and Instagram, and you could become president of the United States. 